Hello everyone, my name is Mitz, and I'm here by a featured conflict of interest, and now we're just sitting here right outside the Valley's Reveils and Rivals Tower. All three names coinciding like birds of a feather. The victim says he died here the inside. Maybe most likely the penthouse at the very top, but we're not gonna figure things out just sitting around here, so just go inside. Into the reception. And if my memory is right, we're going to meet someone which is going to be oh, loads of fun. There's nobody here. Okay, thank goodness we're not going to meet them until later. If you're looking for Detective Wa Waters, he's in the penthouse apartment just down the hall. Detective Waters. Oh yeah, since Gumshoe's at the commission, then we're not going to have Gumshoe for investigation stuff. No, not for this case. Oh. Thank you. Let's go, Nick. So, penthouse then. I wonder what extravagant waiting's on are in the penthouse. I mean, I, I haven't personally seen many penthouses of any of y'all. Oh, wow. This must be the penthouse we were told about. And this is the exact same room from the tease at the very end of the tutorial case. And that painting on the left side of the wall definitely doesn't remind me of anything. Definitely doesn't remind me of anything. Definitely. It only gives me sadness over things that could have been. It has a really nice view. It must have been nice living up here. You know, Nick, you can move the anything industry in anything interesting into a place like this. What, do you have a spare milli laying around? That would never happen. Shrika, you just need to take more than four cases a year. You know, I made that exact joke before. <laughs> I'm very picky about who I work with. Hey, man. I have no idea what voice to give you, even though I know you're coming up. Hello! Uh, sorry, but I have to ask you to leave. No, skedaddle. Scoosh. This is a crime scene. Actually, that's why I'm here. I'm an attorney. My client is defending this case. Really? Oh. Well, then I guess I owe you an apology. Oh, that won't be necessary. Just doing a job. Can't let just anyone just let anyone run around here and just mess around with everything. So you haven't seen anyone with a bobbing afro that rivals a certain orange-haired, red-haired girl. A woman now. Right? Okay. Name's Mark Waters. Water Waters. 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 It's 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 funny either way. I'm the lead detective here. I'm Phoenix Wright. It's music. No, sorry, it just chillax. And I'm Maya Faye. Please meet you, Detective Waters. No nope, pleasure's all mine. Nice meeting you too. It kind of feels a tiny bit out of place in this, but at the kind of same time, it kind of fits a tiny bit. It's leaning towards a bit, almost out of place a tiny bit, though. Feel free to look around. Just don't steal any of the evidence. We need that stuff. You don't tell me what to do. Thank you. I think you just gave us free reign the crime scene. Well, that's a first. So, I'd rather look around first and then, then just shoving all the stuff into his face. Like, we just shoved this bloodstained chair into his face. That's a really nice desk. Definitely better than mine. Our test showed that solid mahogany. That man knew how to live. Was there anything important inside it? Oh, just more mah mahogany. Actually, we haven't checked that out yet. You had time to test what type of wood it was, but not skim through its drawers? It's on my to do list. Okay. And outside of the Lauren Vision, um, uh, is body. That's a lot of blood. I've been to a lot of murder scenes, but this might beat them all. The victim must have been slashed clean apart to leave this much blood behind. Hmm. I think a knife was down there. That knife. Do you think it's the murder weapon? Oh yeah, it's a it's a reused graphic of um, uh, uh, the red the Miles knife from Rise of the Ashes. I'd say so. Want to hear the best part? The defendant's fingerprints are all over it. He admitted it was his. Are you serious? Oh yeah, that guy didn't bother cleaning up after himself. This case will be open and shut. Just watch. Okay, so... This is Mr. Parker's knife? Well, I guess, like, you know, see his business suit, he must have, you know, a fancy car as well. Those knives must be in all those tool toolboxes in the, the trunk of people's cars, right? Right? Maybe we should ask some more about it. Uh, after more, I'm, uh, snooping. Uh, there's that, but there's also painting. The victim's taste in art was certainly interesting. What, you don't like pufferfish in the ocean? How dare you? Actually, it's quite relaxing. Oh, come on, oh man, that is something you're thinking. You're thinking, why would any sane person decorate the room with that? 
Pot of Water is Mind Reader. Uh, that's literally everyone. Everyone reads your mind, okay? Don't contribute to every, every single other person's life. Oh, it's freezing in here. It's because of that stupid window. Can we close it? Wait. There's... You can... Like, the whole window in the very back of the room can be opened? It looks like it can't even be opened. It's like a wall-to-ceiling window. And there's a way to open it like that? Why? On a penthouse? Is there a balcony out there? We're supposed to leave the crime scenes if we find them. Believe me, I'd love to close that thing. I wasn't even whether you could open windows on the top level of a skyscraper. Me too. Rich people, am I right? Isn't that a safety hazard? And that beats me, it could be. I think that is in several different ways. Oh, she's having a fun time. So the window is open will need the police from the body? But why? Because of the victim like drafts. Who knows? I think the last thing on this list is like this? Unless we didn't look at it? This looks like some. It looks like got something got pretty smashed up here. Eh, there was some kind of struggle. The guy must have gone down fighting. Okay, wow. I'm getting a lot of information. Don't worry about it. Let's pull the desk. And yeah, I think that's it. No clues here. Yeah. Let's just get that stuff out of the way. No question about it, man. That's what killed him. Well, for a knife that has like a uh, for a body that has a lot of blood leaking out of it, there's so little on the blade itself. Which I'm, uh, I think, what was it? Actually, no, I don't. I don't think that was like that. Small details brought up in Rise of Ashes either. You found the knife beside the body. Yeah, it's covered in the victim's blood and the defendant's fingerprints. I said it's pretty decisive evidence, won't you? Yes, it certainly is. I wonder if Mr. Parker's worried it wouldn't take his case. Uh, can you please tell us th what this is if it's not a gun? I don't think I know anything about that. Let's relate to the case. Must not be, since I don't know about it. Hmm. Well, this, well, Gumshoe did say that, like, this fell on top of him from somewhere above him. So, maybe this, like, fell out of the s sky? Like, from here? This is the penthouse, so it probably fell out here, but... There's a gun involved in this case, even though the victim was splashed to death. Unless there's a gunshot in the victim. Hmm. You're fine with us investigating the crime scene. Yeah, why not? Well, for civilians, not technically, and you're with the prosecution. So? Never mind. Wait, are you one of those low-life attorneys who forces evidence? Well, that just took a 180 spin. Because I'm totally uncool with that. That's what you're uncool with, not I'm, uh, angry about. No, I wasn't playing anything like that. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay. Hey, uh, what's with that weird look you're giving me? What have you found so far? But his name was Michael Rivales. I, I did it again. Michael Rivals. I, no, at this point, I just might as well stick with it. I keep saying, I, that's been stoked in my brain. Michael Rivales. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> the owner of this tower. He was killed early this morning. Rivales. Where have I heard that name before? Did the suspect work for him? You mean your client? Yeah, that guy's guilty, alright. There's a witness and ev evidence and everything. Like always. I kind of like when cases are this easy. Wish we had more like this. Well, if you had so many police cases, I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure we would like an open shut case every once in a while. Well, I say that, but if we have a case that, like, William uh, points out who, like, the culprit is this and we defend them, that's not going to be very good dramatics. Do you know to the Gumshoe by any chance? Uh, gumshoe? Yeah, I've known him since I joined the force. Great man. I'm assuming you know what happened to him. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm all tied up and can't go see him. Tell him hi for me, will ya? I will. I actually want to talk about what happened to him. Okay, shoot. Well, I already showed you a, a thingy gunny mabob. Yeah, you know. I spoke with him earlier. He said that he was not unconscious while passing through this area. Yeah, very coincidence, huh? You really think it was just a coincidence? The murder took place 300 feet above where he was. I don't think the two things are related. If we examine the object he was hit with, we might be able to connect it with the crime. Oh, come on, man. Don't make this any more complicated than it needs to be. Literally, that's how everything needs to be. Complication. Oh, God. Don't tell me. Do we have to gl Do we actually have to glue this together? Almost like I have a vase and rise of the ashes. Oh, no. Can you throw investigation too much work for your waters? Oh, God. You mentioned that there was a witness? Yeah, she's something somewhere out there, around here. She's the secretary. I 
think. You think? I don't know. She wasn't very clear on what her duties were. Isn't it your job to figure find these things out? If you want, you can check the reception area. She likes to hang out there. Oh no. That knife was found next to the body. It's got Parker's fingerprints all over the handle. No question about it, man. That's what killed him. How'd that little knife cause such a big mess? Yeah, there's only like a tiny like little drop of blood at the very tippy top. I don't think I've ever seen a crime that seemed this bloody. Well, consider yourself lucky you didn't find the body. That guy was barely still in one piece when we got here. What? That's disgusting! Wait, wait, what? Why? Like, literally the how much of a grudge? Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Wait, they cut the body apart with a small knife? Like, that just, like, it just seems like Han. Just from how, like, small it looks? And from what, like, remembering of Rise of the Ashes, it's like, I'm assuming it's going to be the exact same similar knife. Literally, like, it'll be a small knife, like, literally, you just, the red hilt is all you can hold in your hand. Like, from the bottom of it to the hilt of the knife. That's all you can hold it. And you're telling me this was used to saw through muscle, bone, okay. Nice. Well, it must be very strong. He was really almost cut in half. I won't go into all the gory details, but I don't know. But yeah, yeah, he was. If you really want to know more, you have to read about it later. You have a vanilla envelope. Then read about it later, just give it to me now instead. And the corner just got done making that. You can have a copy. Well, not not later, sooner, apparently. I know one thing for sure. It wouldn't be easy to chop somebody up like that. You'd have to be, like, a crazy strong. Yeah. Unfortunately for us, Mr. Parker fits the description. Hmm. Well, well, can we present that gun against now we brought the topic up? No, okay. So let's see. A report died at approximately 6 a.m. And what was it? Mr. Parker said he met Michael Rivales in the morning before he died. Death was caused by a massive wound from a bladed weapon. Is there anything about a gunshot? Now that definitely looks like the guy from the teaser. Well, for this case in the tutorial case. Victim died at approximately 6 a.m. Death caused by excessive blood loss. The victim has a single large slash wound from its abdomen to his car carotid artery. The throat has been slid open vertically. The wound is seven inches deep at the greatest. Then this knife isn't really the weapon, then, isn't it? That or I'm a literally I'm a the the person whoever the kill, killer was was just just sawing away at, away the body with such a small knife. That's just as weird. That's just really weird. Can you use more details? Oh. Hey, well, I don't want to read that thing any more than I had to. Well, it's just only a single paragraph. It's not like there's anything graphic in there. You see the actual body. It can't be any worse than that. Look, I have seen death before, but I can't I can handle it I can I can handle it little blood, but this was not a little. That guy's corpse is gonna give me nightmares. You wanna show that off to somebody? Go talk with Miss Keys. Miss Keys. I don't know. She seems to like that kind of stuff. Oh boy, Miss Keys, Miss Keys. That that was the name was mentioned there too. Please don't tell me some is there's someone <laughs> there's someone similar to that, Mr. Keys. Well it's only a translate like a fan translation, but you know what I mean. It's like tower reception area. I knew it we were gonna meet you, and I think your sprite is different from the first time I s first time I seen this game in action. Huh. I think it was like almost a general hmm. My only my big recollection is that her sprite was like very more similar and like almost like a I guess a remodeled of um, uh, April May, I think. I think anyway. Hmm. Excuse me, but do you have clearance to be here? The police are Oh, why hello there. Uh, hi, my name's Phoenix, right? God, this music god. I'm a defense lawyer. I'm Sarah. Sarah Keys. Yep, yeah, this is this keys. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Phoenix. It's not often I get to meet such a cute lawyer, God. Uh, thanks. Who must be the witness that Detective Waters told us about? Yeah, I guess it must be, you know? Sorry, but your client is totally guilty. You're sure about that? Absolutely, positively sure. Oh god. Don't don't reference that guy. 
Miss Keys, if it's all right with you, I'd like to talk about the murder that apparently Waters wants to show wants us to show her among, a, a gruesome of a deadly autopsy report. Oh please, you don't have to be so formal though, old me. We're friends now. Just call me Sarah. No. Okay, Sarah God. Oh, I'm just thrilled to meet you, Feeny Poo. Okay, Amelia PTSD flashbacks. How can I help you? Feeny Poo? You don't have to call you that, do you? I think it sounds cute. A cute name for a cute boy. Uh, I am a teenager boy man, sir. <laughs> man. You. I. What? If you don't like it, I can use Feeny Weenie instead. Does that sound better? Well, I mean, no. That might actually be worse. Yes. Do you two know each other? How dare you. Not that I'm aware of. Who are... Who are you? Who, me? Yes. Who else will I be talking to? I'm Mr. Ife. I'm Nick's assistant. Pleased to meet you, Sarah. Miss Keys. Yeah. Huh? Please call me Miss Keys. Oh, uh, sorry, Miss Keys. Good. Wow, poor Maya. Okay. <sighs> God. I'm not looking forward to this. What exactly is it that you do here, um, Miss Keys? I'm Mr. Rally's receptionist. I was double as a security chief. Security chief? Well, I did at least. Before we totally got split apart. <laughs> split apart? I was horrible. I walk in there and find his body nearly cut in two. The worst part was his throat. I'm pretty sure he died from choking his own blood or something because it was all seeping out of his windpipe like some kind of. Ah, uh, ah, uh, stop, stop. Well, that sounds interesting. Where's the brain bleach when you need it? Well, I mean, uh, you, you need to go to a surgeon for that. I know, gross, right? You're getting kind of really sick. His intestines were pretty messed up too. Like spaghetti? Oh my. Oh. Okay, bye. Bathroom's down the hall! Hee <laughs> hee. Could we possibly not talk about the condition of the body anymore? I mean, I want to because we still have a, a, a man manila envelope to present. <sighs> Sorry, sometimes we get that not everybody can handle stuff like that. Phoenix, you, you can't handle horror movies? God. Well, I, I, I can't handle them. Like, at least the very heavily gory stuff on screen. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something else you want to discuss? How about you? No, when I hear her talk about me. Me? Yes, you silly. Let's talk about you. Are you seeing anyone right now? I'm looking at someone right now, but I'm not seeing anyone outside this building because there's no one around here for 10 miles. Well, I. You're not. You're not with that Marla girl, are you? Marla. Nice. Well, it's Maya, actually, and we're. You're not? Oh, that's wonderful. What are you doing this Saturday? Uh, apparently we're on a case. Uh, well, I, uh... Hey, how about, about your job here? Could you tell me more about that? Oh, we want to talk about that. Well, isn't it common courtesy to ask what what two, like, you know, soon-to-be dates talk about in their own personal lives, right? Right? Answer the question. Well, I suppose that works. Nice save, Phoenix. Nice save. Worked for Mr. Ravalli's for a few years now. He wasn't the best boss, but I'll take what I can get, you know? Well, the money pays you're living in a, if you're working atop a penthouse, so I'm uh, take the money where you can get it. Well, Mr. Parker? Plane started here long before I joined. He was working for Mr. Valley's when I was just a little girl. How old are you then? Are you in your, I'm assuming you're in your 20s then. Yeah, 25. And how you're in your 30s? Yeah, 39. <gasps> 39? <laughs> number, funny number. Well, not funny, but cool number. So if you're the security chief, and he's a guard, does that make you his boss? What? <laughs> What's so funny? I love when a guy can make me laugh. Say, how about this Saturday? Uh, I swear, I I'd rather just just bury myself into a joke book. Find more stuff. I'm back. Oh, it's you. Am I interrupting something? Yes. No. <sighs> no. Nice save, Maya. Nice save. Oh, you really want to talk about some crime, then let's just keep at it. Or... Yeah, whatever. This one's emotions all over the place. <gasps> Could you tell me more about what you saw this morning? Yep, he did it, no question there. What, what do you mean, he did it? You saw it? Wayne, silly, you strode right in there and slashed apart poor old Mr. Valet's. And you just s s sat there watching him? 
I mean, you like gold, so I wouldn't put it past you. Mr. Parker's such a nice guy, though. He couldn't do that. Nice. What about the same person? Mr. Parker's nothing but a big teddy bear. He wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> That's a good one. You know, you're really funny, Marla. I swear, we haven't been reading out joke books lately. Hey, I'm not joking. You don't believe that he's the killer? Wayne goes in and realizes him come out. I was here the whole time. He's the only one who could have done it. That does make him look rather suspicious. Yeah, there's that. And this is the penthouse floor. Uh, yeah, there has to be that whole thing. So, the cult was hiding in in that room the entire time before, you know, Wayne went, went in there. But Wayne didn't see anyone, I'm assuming, so... The, the culprit was hiding under the couch, obviously. Under the couch. Did you actually see him commit the murder? Nope, but it doesn't matter. Usually when it came through here that night. As it always do. Is it possible to come in another way? Feeny Poo, we're on the 13th story of this tower. This is the only hole into that room. There is no other way. Well, now since it's bold and Amma, I think there is another way. Such as flying up 13 stories from the ground to the first floor. Did Mr. Parker have a reason to want him dead? Oh, better yet. They, they flew up from the, the parking lot floor. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure there were lots of people who wanted it. Lots of people? What do you mean by that? How do you know? Uh, could you maybe go into a bit more detail? Well, he was just kind of a disagreeable guy. He got into lots of arguments and stuff, you know. Right. Arguments. Okay, Soma, you want to talk about crying, Soma? How do you like looking at this yellow beige object? I really didn't think of you getting to ask her about that. She seems to get a bit too enthusiastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, this thingy. Is that a gift? No. It's for me? No. Aww. Better find something that catches their attention better. Like the knife, actually? Gift? No. Nothing. Hmm. I want, like, hmm. So I've been wishing, like, these fan games, which I don't remember if, like, either I'm, uh... I think Charles D Utter Justice did it, that I'm, uh, when you're done talking to someone for the time being, or you just move on, you're kind of done talking to them, you can go on to somewhere else. Where if you can do that? Oh, can you talk? Oh, I guess we can some more profiles. How do you feel about your boss? What would you say your relationship with the victim was like? Well, you know, he's my boss, and I work for him. Nothing much. Is that all? He had her ups and downs. He's being really vague whenever I bring this topic up. Can you just not ask fair questions? Hmm. I guess a new topic will open up. He did it. Well, that was quick. You sound really sure of yourself. I know we work together, but he's a murderer. I can't help, I can't just keep quiet, you know? My lawyer says they're tingling. I don't detect hostility. Okay, then. I'm assuming you don't know Virgil or, or I guess Mark Waters very much, but I'll present anyway. <gasps> I'm gonna present a whole person to you to give you as a gift? That's human trafficking. No, stop it. No. Get out of here. Same here. Okay, I just want to be sure. No, nothing there. Hmm. So you're useless to me. Okay, moving on. So there should be somewhere else to look around then? That, or I'm not looking in the right places. Hmm. Can we talk to Virgil about all this right now? Oh yeah, somebody has a profile, we can actually talk about that. You don't know about your boss? <laughs> uh, well, do you know why she's so hostile towards you? You don't know anybody here, do you? Wait, did we present your profile, Mr. Complete Afro Box Dude? How do you not know any of these people, you? <laughs> How do you not? Eh. None of these work. Hmm. I guess there's something I'm missing then? Uh, well, please, please tell me there was like some pixel perfect evidence that was in the, the the murder scene that I'm glossing over. Oh god. We actually haven't looked around here actually. Ain't there something there? What was a giant screen, the reception desk. This looks like Sarah's desk. Hmm. What was a picture frame in there? Can we look at that? Who's in the photo? That's me, my daddy. I love my daddy. He just looks so happy in that picture. Yeah, I know. You're really cute as a kid. Yeah, I know that too. Apparently modesty is one of this woman's virtues. Hmm. This machine looks rather complicated. It looks like the security control system for the building. 
then we can fit around with it and see into every nook and cranny of this business building. Her runs it must really be smart. Don't tell me she made, she offers it. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I'm at a loss of words. Can't believe me. I'd love to hear more about the security system in this building then. Oh, go ahead and ask. I'll tell you anything you want to know, my beloved Feeny Poo. Stop it. Stop. Oh, God. Nice plan. Doesn't rhyme with Charlie, though. I guess everything there. Security system. This here is the control system for all the security cameras in the tower. Does that mean there's a camera pointed right at the victim's room? Well, I guess the penthouse room then, right? So we have, like, both your witness testimony, then, like, actual video evidence as well to parse through. You can see everything that goes on from this desk. Do you keep any records? All the footage we ever recorded is stored in our databases. Only the videos from the past three days are on this computer, though. You really store all the data you record? Why would you need to do that? Eh, Mr. Riley's like to keep tabs on the people he met with. For security reasons, you know? The old videos don't really matter. Why don't you know about is what was recorded this past night? Hmm. Nick, we should check those videos. They might be some really good evidence. Hmm. Well, can we present it to you then? Or I guess we talked to Waters about that then. Which area should I look at the footage for? Entrance, reception, penthouse. Uh, penthouse is the most, in, most of my biggest thing, so what's in the entrance first off? Ooh, that's a fun one to watch. Let me show you my favorite part. I don't get it. Is something supposed to be happening here? Oh, sorry. Oh, see, let me fast forward a bit. You gotta be amused somehow, right? Still nothing. You mean you don't find those people out by the door to be totally suspicious? Not really, they haven't even entered the building. I think the girl in the white suit has a weird haircut. It's a boxy and gross. Boxy. I'm just boring to watch stuff like this every day. We end up just a building around 5.30. Some guy comes from the sidewalk a little later. Not much else happens. Oh, it must be Gumshoe. So it literally happens outside of this. If that guy is who I think it is, then we already know both those things. Hmm. Wait till you see this! That's definitely him. See, Wayne goes in, Ravallis doesn't come out. Apart from the Re Mr. Ravallis himself, there's only one person here who enters the room of this video. Wayne. Well, don't Wayne on my parade then with us. Hey, wait, a large chunk of this video is missing. Hmm? There's no footage from 538 till 627. Oh yeah, we had a power outage. <laughs> only for that sector of the building, nowhere else. <laughs> nice. Did I forget to say that? Numerously times. Yes, that's probably important. Sorry, we totally didn't have any power then. No lights, no cameras, nothing. We didn't even have any food. I think I have something in that somewhere. But here it is. Lack of report. Hmm. Maybe that'll help you get the guilty verdict you want. We want. Oh, reception area. Wait, so... I'm assuming the penthouse area is like... Wait, there's a camera inside the penthouse? Oh... Hey, wait, there isn't any footage of the crime scene. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I know. Did it get deleted? Oh, no, it never existed. So there's no cameras in the penthouse. Well, I guess. Hmm. Mr. Elias had the cameras removed from his room a while ago. He said they spooked him, you know? Why would he do that? I don't know. I just didn't like him. If I had anything, I'll show you, but then you did go on. Then you have undeniable proof that Wayne totally disemboweled him. <laughs> disemboweled him? Okay, you like this. You have certain good words for these. I'm his defense attorney. I want to prove his innocence, not his guilt. Ow. Right. So when you're clashing with your whole thing of like wanting to get into um, uh, Nick's pants, and also at the same time, really don't like Mr. Wayne. So that's not gonna go well either way for you. Psst. Hey, Nick. Uh, yeah? She's been telling us everything. She's been really vague about certain things. I agree. She's seems to be avoiding giving us too many details. Depressing. You're gonna tell us everything sooner or later. Hey, um, what are you two talking about? I'm still here, you know. Oh, don't worry, we're just talking about someone else's fashion sense. Hmm. So pressing. What can we do to press? Well, okay, there's nothing we can examine more closer black day. The building had a power failure from 5:38 to 6:27 a.m. And that guy was really scary. I could barely see a thing. Did you think anybody could have slipped past you during that time? Hmm. No, the doors here are pretty heavy. I think I would have heard them even if I didn't see them, you know? Somebody had to have come in. If not, but Mr. Parker was the only one who met with the valets. That or- <gasps> The cover went through the window! But how did they do that? <laughs> that that's true. Hmm. 
Nothing else new? Okay. Please tell me we're not talking with you right now. Okay, we'll just go talk to him. Let's, let me see if I can get anything with him uh, waters real quick. Or actually, we're out of time. Which, is anything, is a good time to leave things off. Because I feel like I'm going to get more and more lost, the guide. As I'm, uh, what was that? Besides the difficulty spike in the trial itself, I feel like I remember just seeing, like, things get a bit aimless and a tiny bit boring when going through investigation and all that. So, I probably need all the help I get to, like, look through investigation to get through things quicker. And faster. And easier. Work it faster. Get it longer. Get it stronger. Well, we'll find out if I can get through this faster as not whether or not next time. So, for fun to watch as I am playing this, I will see you next time, the time may be, and I all hope a fantastic day.